Good morning, you guys. Um, I have a little bit of time before I have to head out to work. And I just wanted to come on here and just kind of have a conversation with you guys. I think more so this is me venting just because I've been having a really rough time lately. So I think I need opinions and I think I just need to let it out. I wanted to... I guess just kind of discuss how I've been feeling lately oh god you guys know I have been trying to conceive for a year now um, which honestly isn't even that long of a time compared to so many of you out there that you know have been trying for years um, I've met girls that have been trying for eight, 10 years. Um, and I cannot imagine, you know, what you guys have been through. And I don't even know how you've been able to handle it for that long because I've been trying for a year and I, I just literally feel like, <sighs> I just feel like my world is falling apart right now and I think a big part of it is because oh god I have a birthday coming up um, next week and I'm turning 33 and I'm getting older and unfortunately for us as women we do have a ticking time clock um, so I guess that is really just putting a damper on everything um, just having to be another year older and not being able to be pregnant um, and I think I was just I just got really excited because I had just had my HSG test and I thought, you know, who knows, maybe this is all I needed. Um, but who am I kidding? I have endometriosis. It's not going to be that easy for me. But, you know, I get in my head and I try to get positive about it. And I convince myself that it's possible, um, which I, I hate doing, because then the heartbreak is that much bigger. Um, I'm usually the type of person that's like, okay, I'm really realistic, which maybe comes off as negative sometimes, but I just like to be realistic. Um, especially because I've dealt with depression my whole life. So... I'm the kind of person that just expects the worst so that if it does happen, it doesn't hit me that hard. Um, so anyways, my period is due on the 16th, which is on my birthday, which is another reason why I was just really counting on this because I was like, oh, this is perfect timing. I had my HSG. It might have flushed my tubes and that might have been what I needed. Uh, my period is due on the 16th. I'll pee on the test and I'll get a positive. So long story short, I ended up taking a pregnancy test on eight days post-op um, because that morning I woke up and I just felt like my senses were really heightened and any strong scent um, made me dizzy and made me want to vomit so i thought oh my god this is it right so i just had to get it out of the way and i peed on a stick and of course it was negative so that definitely ruined my day and which is why i'm feeling the way i'm feeling today um so of course Yesterday, my husband comes home and I had another meltdown, just kind of expressing to him how I feel. And 
I don't know if I had actually told you guys yet. Yeah, I think I did. So after my HSG test, since we discovered my tubes were open, I decided that we would move forward with an IUI. Now, I keep having to remind myself, I have stage four endometriosis. So what are the chances that an IUI is gonna work for me? And being the realistic person that I am, it is not gonna work. Like, it's just not. Let's be real. Most women that do have endometriosis and that have endo at my stage have conceived with IVF, if they're even lucky. Um, at first, I think I was just like, I want to do it because I don't want to feel like I'm not trying everything I can. And there's always that what if, you know. What if an IUI will work and I'll save thousands of dollars, but what if it doesn't? Um, and that's what I like to prepare myself for is the what if it doesn't. So last night I had the conversation with my husband and I told him that I didn't want to go through the IUI because mentally right now i am not in a good place and i just started a new job too and i feel like i'm not focusing because all my focus is on trying to conceive um so my question is do i go through an iui and just hope that I'm one of those lucky people that it's going to work for and you know maybe it'll help the process of an IUI will help prepare me for an IVF or do I just scratch out IUI take a break enjoy the end of the year and just relax and focus on my work and then when the, once the new year kicks in, our new insurance will kick in, which will help cover IVF and then proceed with IVF, which last night I was feeling like that's the best thing right now because I am so mentally effed right now that I felt like I need the break and just mentally give myself a vacation, right? Essentially. Now this morning, you know, it's a new day and I'm feeling like, but what if an IUI does work? I don't want to feel like I didn't try everything and maybe I do want to do an IUI. So basically now I am, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I feel like I need someone to give me the answer because mentally I just can't do it right now. I can't, I can't make a decision. Basically, I have until the day of my birthday to make a decision because that's the day my period is due. So if my period shows up, then I have to call my fertility office and tell them so that we can begin the process of an IUI. I don't know, you guys. I'm weighing it out in my head and I don't know what to do. And my husband, I think it just hurts him to see me like this. So he just wants to do whatever I want to do. He just wants to support me and he just wants me to be happy. I think honestly he's banking on taking a break because he thinks I need it too. 
Um, what do you guys think? Go ahead and leave those in the comments below and maybe I'll make a decision by my birthday and I will come back on and let you guys know. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.